Hey there YouTube, it's Monty, and today I want to explain a little bit more about the 5 second rule that I mentioned in my Extreme Polar Plunge video. Um, so, that was, to my knowledge, developed by Mel Robbins, who I mentioned, and what I didn't explain is how it actually works. So what you do is you, you so for instance, let's say you're like, oh I don't want to jump into the cold water. Well, what you, or actually better yet, how about let's do a, a positive. So you think, oh, I want to uh, make a phone call for a business, a business call. And so as soon as you think that, you've got a couple of seconds there where you could just do it right then and just jump on it. Um, if you don't though, what happens is your brain starts to come up with, it decides like, oh well, you're pausing for a reason and so I'm going to find a whole bunch of reasons why you shouldn't do it. And it comes up with all of these different reasons why you're not, you shouldn't do the whatever you're thinking about, in this case the business call. Um, even though we all know that the business call is not going to kill you and the business call is not, call is not going to hurt you, however what, what it does is your brain is not set up for that, it's set up to, to make sure you survive a saber tooth tiger killing you. So, it doesn't have time to be like, oh well, the business call is not a saber tooth tiger, it just thinks of all the things that uh, could potentially be bad for you in that situation. So, uh, what the 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 rule does is in counting backwards, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, it engages your brain in a way that it stops just the autopilot like coming up with all of the different thing, reasons why you shouldn't do something and it engages the part of your brain that actually is doing the thinking. So, and it, that allows you to actually make a an, well, semi-intelligent uh, decision on whatever you're thinking you're facing. So, um, if you do that, basically, anytime you're feeling like not doing something, it should engage your, your, your brain in a way that you can actually make the choice that's actually best for you, rather than just making the choice where you feel like, I should avoid doing something, or I, or I, or, or whatever, to make it so that you are less productive, or, um, not t following through with your sales, or not following through on your word, or s hitting the snooze button again. Any number of different things in your life, and you can use it in all manner of different ways. So, I heard about it, I, I think two or three days ago, just whenever I made that video, uh, the like the day before, I'd heard about it, and so, I started incorporating it into all manner of things. Anytime where I'm feeling like, oh man, maybe I shouldn't do something, um, I put it to the test, and so far it's worked. And I don't know if it's a mind over matter thing, but supposedly, like I said, it's it's backed up by all kinds of science. But give it a shot. Hopefully, it helps you out. Um, I recommend using it. It seems to work for me, and I'm going to start using it in everything potentially challenging, like jumping into cold water or whatever you whatever you choose to have in your life that's like that. And as always, today is a good day for discipline. Get out there.